The Engaging God program, as its name suggests, is about engaging God personally, allowing God himself to reveal and unveil the truth through your personal encounters with him. Don't believe what I say. Don't believe what other people say. Have the encounter with the truth self. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He is the truth. He is the living word of God. Engage with him. Engage with the Father. Engage with the spirit of truth. And you'll find that that truth gets unveiled. But it will be challenging. During the continual process of transformation, be relational. Not formulaic or ritualistic. Don't just go through the motions of chanting prayers or repeating prayers or parroting prayers or declarations or decrees. Practice, practice, practice to train your senses to be able to discern God's heart. This is the key. It does take practice. It's not going to happen with the waving of a magic wand or a miracle fix of some teaching. This is you practicing to train your senses according to Hebrews 5.14. Heart to heart cardiogenosis knowledge is far more important on this journey than intellectual knowledge. So don't just rattle through all of the teaching sessions so that you heard them without practicing the engagements and making those engagements yours. Try to spend time in God's presence without an agenda and learn to rest there and follow that process. So seek to engage God in rest. Try not to thirst for knowledge, but be hungry for relationship, because that is where you'll learn to be and not just do. Let love be your guide on this amazing adventure. Do not lean to your own understanding, trying to figure it out. My experiences are just your starting point, not the end. They just open an opportunity. As a forerunner, I've opened a door for you to follow. Follow your own journey and your own path. Don't try and follow mine. You have your own examples. You will have your own testimonies. In this journey so I encourage you to engage and enter rest be at rest don't strive enjoy the presence of God